name is Adrian Wolf. I am a personal trainer at a gym called Camp Rhino Northwest in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm also a business owner. I own a online health and fitness coaching business called Wolfic Coaching. I went to the University of Illinois in Chicago and earned my master's degree in kinesiology with a concentration in exercise physiology. And I also went to the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign where I earned my bachelor's degree in psychology. My insider scoop on the job as a personal trainer uh, would be don't do it for the money. Right? It can be very lucrative uh, depending on your clients. However, you need to put your clients first and their well-being first before your own. So some days are going to be very tough. Uh, you will be working very early hours along with very late hours in the same day. And it could get very difficult and uh, you could get burned out very easily. So uh, that being said, if you're constantly focused on your clients and their well-being and how they're doing and their progress more so than um, how tired you may be feeling on that particular day um, or waking up uh, super, super early on that particular day. This job is going to be a lot more rewarding for you and you're going to get a lot more out of it. My insider scoop as a business owner for a online fitness coaching business uh, would be to continually keep yourself adapting. So continually be changing things, thinking outside the box, always questioning what you're currently doing right now. Because chances are there is some sort of a better way to do it, or if there isn't a better way to do it, as time continues to go along, you need to be able to adapt with the times, especially technology. Uh, the best part of my job as a personal trainer and a online fitness coaching uh, business owner has to be uh, the seeing my clients uh, so happy after they've achieved a goal that they thought was not possible for them. And the fact that um, I was able to help and guide them along uh, their path to achieving that goal. The key skills as a personal trainer that give me an advantage in this field are definitely continuing education. So even when I was working on my master's degree, I was always working on something else, some other certification, whether that was nutrition, uh, human movement, um, or even uh, breath work and recovery and that type of stuff to help with a healthier lifestyle and athletic performance. So I'm not saying to go out there and get every single certification there is just to get it and to have more letters next to your name. But what I'm saying is to continually educate yourself even after you've earned your degrees. I've had three primary jobs as a coach. And the first two out of the three, I landed just by walking through the door. So I did a little bit of research about gyms in the area that I was going to be living in. So I found a gym that was close to where I lived, about a mile down the road. I walked in and I talked to the owner and I said, I just want to volunteer, uh, coaching some classes and getting some experience. And he was more than happy to help me out. Some gyms may not have availability. Some gyms may. But you're never going to find out unless you walk through the door or you send that email or you make that phone call. In 2017, when I came to Chicago and I started school at UIC, what did I do again? I did a quick search. I found the first gym, uh, once again, a CrossFit gym that was in the West Loop. That was the foundry. I walked in through the door, and what do you know, the owner was coaching a class. I gave him a business card that I made. <clears throat> I told him I was interested in work. He ended up calling me later, called me in for an interview, and the rest was history. And I started coaching classes there, started doing one-on-ones, 
And that was all from just walking in through the front door and seeing, seeing what was up at the location. Some extracurricular activities that I did at UIC uh, while I was studying was number one, I went and did a strength and conditioning internship at the athletic department with coach Nick. Uh, I did that for a couple months over the summer and it was hugely beneficial. It gave me a ton of experience working with athletes in particular. And someday I may transition to the strength and conditioning community specifically, but that's the thing, getting yourself out there and learning different types of training with different populations, whether that's athletics or uh, the general population, is going to open up so much more opportunity for you for work later on. Uh, one other thing that I did was I was a teaching assistant for uh, basics of resistance uh, training exercise class and also exercise physiology. So that gave me a completely different perspective as well from a teaching role too uh, with students that are going into the field, not just the general population. So uh, look for things like teaching assistantships, graduate assistantships, and also paid and unpaid uh, internships because those will give you wonderful experience.